So guys, what's going on? What's going on everybody? I'm here again in the bathroom again. <laughs> Because, you know, I just feel, I feel really nice in this bathroom because it has really good lighting. Anyways, um, I finally did it. I finally made the, uh, you know, what I eat kind of video, the type of meals that I enjoy. So, we'll get into the video. I just want to let you guys know that be creative with your food. I personally love Food Network and that's kind of where I get my ideas from. And uh, I get inspired so that I can use what I have and create new things. So... All of these food that you're about to see now, you can eat them any time of the day. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I hope you will enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up, um, share the video if you see it fit, and yes, stay tuned for more. And also comment below, let me know what type of video ideas I should do next. Like what type of videos you guys want to see me do next. Thank you. So for breakfast, we are making eggs really well seasoned, you know, my usual seasoning with some cheese and also spinach and a side of chicken bacon. So let's start off with these eggs. So I mix them up with all the seasoning and then I put the spinach and everything Then I drop it in the frying pan with some butter on low heat. I just wanted to cook slowly. I wanted to cook really nice. I'm putting my cheese in so it can start cooking. I'm going to cover it with a lid so it can melt on top. You know that trick. Everybody knows that trick. Yeah, so there you have it. I just flipped it and it's so perfectly well done and it smells so damn good. I can't wait to eat it. Now I'm going to do my bacon, you know, and also I'm adding some beans, some baked beans, and I'm seasoning my baked beans. I know I didn't show this in the beginning, but I just decided last minute to do the baked beans, but baked beans is such a great uh, bean for anything, anything breakfasty. It's sweet and savory, and I love it. So yeah, there you have it, guys, the final product. Uh, the bacon, I like my bacon really crunchy, and I love my beans. I love everything, just these three things together are perfect. Yep, they are perfection. And there's me trying it out, the beans, yep. I'm enjoying it, my eyes are rolling up in all direction. And let's go in for the eggs. Ah. Uh, Go girl, go girl, soak it up. Ooh, yeah, mm-hmm. The eggs are good and best for last. Bacon, oh damn, that bacon's good. You guys gotta try this. So guys, for this other dish, we are making salmon. Yep, salmon, and guess what? A surprise ingredient with salmon. We're adding pumpkins to salmon, yes? Pumpkins and Uncle Ben's rice. So let's get started with the pumpkins. These bad boys are so flavorful. I don't use any sugar. Nope, no sugar, just pepper, garlic, and a lot, a lot of peppery, nice, salty seasoning. So I'm adding in my garlic there. That's going to simmer for a while. Then we're going to move on to the best part. And the best part is, you want to guess? Yep, more pepper. That's cayenne pepper going in there. And some garlic powder for extra, extra flavor. Oh, yeah, that's my Uncle Ben's rice seasoning. And it comes with the rice, so you just put it together and stir it up, people. And there you have it. Those bad boys are simmering away. They're going to cook themselves. 10 to 15 minutes, and they'll be done. So, oh, guess what? The pumpkin was done before. So it was done in like five minutes and I move on to the seasoning of my salmon, which is just cayenne, seasoned salt and garlic powder and a whole lot of butter, a whole lot of butter because salmon can burn really fast. So yeah, my rice is so creamy. Oh my God. You have, you have to try this dish, guys. This is such a buttery, buttery salmon and it's just like a gravy is being developed. Look at that. Look at that baby. Oh my God. You have no idea. You have no idea. Look at that final product. It's not oil around there. It's just like what you have to eat the salmon with. It's kind of like, it's really good. You see? You see what I'm talking about? It's so good. Ready? Yeah, okay. guys. Let's go in. Get in. Mm. Oh my God. Get this rice. Get this on. Oh my God. <laughs> God? Get this rice. Yeah,
How do you rate it? 10 or 5 out of 10? You guys are How do you rate this? Guys, this is a 10. 10. It's a 9. So for this dish today, all you'll need is some good old mushrooms, some baby spinach, two pieces of chicken breast, I have some scallions or shallots and some garlic, then you'll need for seasoning some red chili flakes, the steak seasoning, the black pepper, the garlic powder, onion powder, and some Cajun seasoning. So I'm going to cook my chicken first because obviously I want them to be done and I'm before the veggies. And I'm seasoning them with like all the seasoning that I showed you guys before. Just adding as much as I want or as little as I want. It's up to you. For me, I like my stuff really hot. So I put a lot more of the chili flakes on the black pepper because I'm out of cayenne pepper. Now I'm just going to add in my shallots and my garlic for extra, extra beautiful flavor. Just want to take a moment to let you guys know, enjoy your damn life. Dance in the kitchen, make yourself happy, treat yourself only once in a while because life is too short to think about anything else. This is chicken's final product, so, so good. Now I'm moving on to putting the veggies together. So I'm using the same pan with the leftover gravy from the chicken and I'm going to add my mushrooms in and let them cook for a while. It's going to create great flavor and also I'm not going to add any salt to this or any more seasoning because the chicken already has so much seasoning and I personally love to taste my veggies a little more natural. I may just add some chili flakes to this. So I'm adding in my spinach now. My mushrooms have been cooking for at least seven minutes and I also added some more shallots to it. And now I'm gonna be turning my spinach because guess what, food's almost done. So I'm getting all hyped and whatnot. And as you can see how fast the spinach cooks because everybody knows spinach cooks really fast, but in particular these baby spinach, they were done in less than a minute, so I just turned off the stove. Look at that. Moving on to the plating, which is like the best part for me because I love to pretend that I'm from a professional restaurant cooking up some really high-class food that takes a really long time to prepare. But we all know that that's not the case. But also, treat yourself really nice and plate really well. It helps for me. Okay, so first of all, I did not realize that my head, like my full face was not showing, but you get it. Uh, this chicken was so, so moist, guys. It was super, super, not s too sweet, but it had so much sweetness to it also, but it's naturally sweet. The mushrooms and the spinach were cooked perfectly. There you have it, my final product. I call it mushroom, spinach, and chicken with a lot of seasoning because I don't know the name of that. So there you have it guys, all the food ideas that I want to share with y'all. I hope you didn't miss this face too much. Anyways, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, click that little bell icon so you guys will be notified whenever I post videos. I plan on posting more and more and more and more and more. And yeah, I would love for if you guys can be um, on this journey with me as I progress and I start this newness, you know, this new thing with me on YouTube, you know, see ya, see ya later, bye!